Hi there, how's it going? Are you good? Great. All right, so we'll start off with this one. So this guy actually asked me if his camera was good enough to pass. And after seeing the video, he could have recorded this entire thing with a one megapixel camera from the 90s. And I would still have put it in a compilation. Legs, as if this wouldn't pass. Steering wheel flex. Windscreen flex. Chandelier flex. Rear view mirror flex. There we have the box and speakers. By the way, if I was a bit of a douche, I'd ask you to smash the like button. I see these videos get a few thousand views, but only a few hundred likes. Press it because I mean it's free. And one, you're not only helping me by doing that, but two, you're also counteracting the dumbasses that keep coming back and hitting the thumbs down button even though they want to watch. And the next video we have is this one. And he's played a new track by me, which is on my second channel, links below. Right, so we have curtain rail flex. Kenwood amp. And this is the view from the outside. By the way, this video was sent to me on Instagram, so the quality is not great. But we do have flex. Uh, the next one we have is this one. So it looks as though we have a SCAR subwoofer and a Sundown Audio subwoofer. And that there is his little test bench. So top left we have a power supply with a voltage readout, got a pink amplifier and a capacitor on the right. Looks like it does a job. I do hear a bit of fan noise though, which is why I don't usually recommend this sort of thing for a home theatre setup, unless you can put it in another room. Nice. Ah, the next video we have is this. We've got a Def Bonds subwoofer. Okay, so I think he was actually breaking this in. Or it was still in its breaking period, so he's not really pushing it. I saw that finger come into the shot and I thought he was going to point at something. What we have here are some Skull Candy Crusher Evo headphones and a drink. Vibrating all the fizz out of your drink. Ah, the next one we have is this. I like the way you've mounted your monitor on the wall. So these are some Panasonic speakers, and I believe they're 450 watts, allegedly. They're probably more along the lines of maybe around 80. And I can also see that you have guitars mounted to the wall, which is interesting because I had my guitar in this room 
the acoustic guitar and whenever I played music I could hear it reverberating with certain frequencies so I had to take it out of this room because it was kind of annoying. Okay so this next one, can anybody suggest a type of box for this 6 inch woofer? Because he's trying to build a box and I don't think he's sure which directions to take it in. But here we have the speaker. And by the way, this box he's built is a transmission line box. So yeah, any suggestions? That'd be nice. And the next submission we have is this. Is this an SMD8? Whoa, how old does he sound? Nope, one of Scar's crazy eights. Get a load of this. All right, free air speakers are always fun to watch, especially when they're subs. Okay, so quick tip for you, have the light behind the camera. That way what you're filming doesn't go all dark. And the next one we have is this, what is that? Hertz, it says on the side. EPX 500, W Audio, and there we go, close to max. That's a strange looking grill, kind of reminds me of that character from one of the Batman movies. Wait a minute, was it Batman? I don't even remember, I'm not even a fan of Batman. Okay, so the next one we have is this and it sort of sounds like we're underwater. So this is an example of a video I'm not really after, so you could close your eyes and pretend you're underwater if you want. And the next one we have is this one. So first of all, vertical video, which is always pleasing to the eye. Second of all, judging by this static image right here, it's a sort of video I'm probably not really after. But when I hit play, it's a little more enjoyable than the previous one was. And the next submission we have is this one. So judging by this static image right here, it is a video that I would use until you press play. And then you realize he's only using about half the power the sub can handle. I mean, it's good to see, but more power is fun to watch. Now the next video we have is this one and he's playing Third Eye Stimuli bass boosted on some gas subs. All right, not too bad, not too bad. Could do with a little more power, I reckon. And the next one we have is this, and he's playing Bass Rider Extra Low and Slow. And he's also looking through the camera as he's trying to press that, which is what I've done a few times and it never works. All right, so we have a Pride subwoofer. I like the paint splatters on the box. Getting a bit close with the camera. Could do with a few extra lights maybe. Ah, 
And the next one we have is this one. So we have an audio pipe subwoofer. And a couple extra speakers above that. Alright, so they're all connected. And the next video we have is this one, and he's got a Sony system. Good amount of movement, nice. Wasn't expecting that. Wow, they're moving more than that sub was. And it ended suddenly. Ah, well. And the next video we have is this JBL subwoofer right here. And he's doing something similar to what somebody else did in the previous video. Nice amount of airflow. Nice amount of movement. And the next one we have is this one, which is apparently a five inch sub. And that is the definition of overworked and underpaid. All right, so that is all we have for now. This is a Samsung subwoofer, which is doing quite well with the lows, uh, but I will be back with another compilation soon. So if you've sent a video and it's not been in this, it'll probably be in the next one. And as soon as I get enough videos, I'll make that next video. So yeah, catch you in the next one.